Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today we are gonna make fresh lemon buttercream. And the reason that it tastes so amazing and filled with flavor is because we use fresh lemons in this recipe. Now I use three lemons today, but you might need more or less depending on how much juice and zest you get out of your lemons. Right now we are zesting them, which is just taking off uh, grating off the yellow part of the peel. We don't want to get down to the white, so when you see white, you just need to turn it. So you kind of turn your wrist as you zest it. This recipe is how you use the whole lemon. After we're done zesting it, we're going to cut it in half and squeeze the juice out for the buttercream. Now we're going to put two cups of room temperature unsalted butter into our mixing bowl and we have the paddle attachment on and then we're going to put our half a cup of lemon juice into this bowl and we're going to mix that on low for 10 minutes first because we want to fully incorporate the lemon juice with the butter. Because of the acidity and the lemon juice and everything, if you do not mix it well first, then later your buttercream will separate and it will not look so pretty anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and give this 10 minutes. Okay, so now it should be looking like this. This is your, this is your lemon and your butter. And now we're gonna go ahead and start to scrape down all the sides. And then after we do that, we're gonna add the one teaspoon of salt. And then there are gonna be about 12 cups of powdered sugar. It's three pounds of this confectioner sugar. I use the Domino's brand because it's a pure cane powder sugar, but any pure cane powder sugar would do. And then I'm just gonna mix it on low. I sped it up so that you didn't have to watch the whole process. But you always wanna mix it on low so you don't beat in too much air into your buttercream, which makes it hard to smooth if you're smoothing it on a cake. Or even when you're piping, you see a lot of those bubbles. I scraped on the sides one more time to make sure that there's no powder sugar on the sides and then I'll mix it on low just for 30 seconds more or so to make sure that the, all of the powder sugar is in there together. And I'm going to test it to make sure that it's as thick as I want it to be so I kind of tap it a little and watch and see if the peak will stay when I pull up because if it doesn't then you're not going to have firm enough buttercream for your cake and you can add a little more powdered sugar to fix that. I usually add it like half a cup at a time if I need to. And now at the end we're going to add the two tablespoons. I did heaping tablespoons of the zest. I love zest in there. That's, zest is where you get all the flavor. I mean you, it has good flavor without the zest but let's get real. I mean that's where all the flavor just packs in with that zest. So yes you can do it without the zest but you're killing me if you do that because this is yummy. So I'm hand mixing in the zest now that my uh, buttercream is all done. And so right straight from this I will either put it in a piping bag to pipe on cupcakes or I will smooth it out on my cake. And for this cake, I made some candied lemons to also put on top as a nice little cake topper. And those are not only yummy, they look great on a cake. So if you wanna see that tutorial, please check it out on my YouTube channel and please subscribe.